Yeah, top of the sports rank zone, Dominica, a country of just under 73,000 people basking in the joy of Tielefon Gudson's historic Olympic gold medal at the Paris 2024 Games. Lefon Gudson will return to the island on Saturday and the government of Dominica will be pulling out all the stops to celebrate her historic feat. Joining us on the Sportsmax Zone to share more on the celebrations planned is the Honorable Oscar George, Minister of State in the Ministry of Sport. Minister George, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. How are you doing this afternoon? Thank you very much. It was a real pleasure to be on. Thank you for the invitation. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, it is great to have you. Outline for us the plans that you have to celebrate the outstanding achievement of uh, Thea Lafon Godson um, for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. And what has just generally been a sensational year for her? Yeah, I think it's important to, to build some context because, as you may know, Thea Godson performed at the 2016 Olympics. Um, at that Olympics, she wasn't able to transition to the finals. And then she was so emotional. You know, she actually apologized for the entire nation. And, and that just goes to show the passion and the zeal and the commitment that Fia exhibited from a very young age. Um, so fast forward to 2024 um, at the Paris Olympics, um, you know, coming from a very successful in the World Championships, um, we all pretty much expected Fia um, to medal. Um, so it was a matter of, is she going to get a gold? Is she going to get a bronze? And of course, Fia really performed and performed well. Fia made the entire country proud and not just um, Dominica and, and her family, but the entire region, you know, has, has you know, reason to, to celebrate. Um, St. Lucia, um, we had a, a gold medal um, from Julian Alfred. And Grenada, we had two bronze medals. So the entire region, I believe, you know, has really, really played the part um, in ensuring that we, we belong in the highest caliber of sports. And I'm saying this because we are very small countries. You know, we have very limited... Um, uh, um, facilities, we have very limited um, financial resources and, and small fiscal spaces, but what the recent success of FIA and all the other athletes around the region can confirm is that, yes, we are small, but we can produce world-class athletes, and I believe that in itself um, is it, just wonderful for the entire region. Um, so, of course, you know, as a government, we are committed to the advancement of sports, you know, the advancement and promotion of sports, so we are indeed I'm preparing to welcome our Olympic star home. Um, come tomorrow, um, Saturday, she'll be arriving um, at, the, at the airport around 2 p.m. So she'll be greeted um, by government officials, by the acting honorable prime minister, um, by the minister for sports, um, all the dignitaries, um, just to give her that warm welcome that I believe that she deserves. And of course, um, stemming from that welcome ceremony, we'll move on to the following day we will have a well-organized motorcade traversing through the many communities um, on the west coast of Dominica. And just to say that she's actually from one of the communities um, on the west coast of Dominica. That is the reason why we have decided to, to, to have this motorcade going through the west coast of Dominica. And of course, it will be led by the police. And we will also have the, the ministers, the dignitaries um, leading that motorcade. And as well, Fio will be also given the opportunity um, to, to, to interact with the persons along the route. Um, you know, a lot of persons will be mobilized um, along the route just to say hi, because they're looking forward to that opportunity just to wave at fear, just to say hi and just to congratulate her. And I think that's, you know, that's one of the, the, the highlights of our celebrations um, come this weekend. And following this, we will all lead to the, the, the Windsor Park um, National Stadium where we have a grand celebration of course, we will have her friends and her family, you know, in the stadium. You know, the, the prime minister will be here, the, the ministers will be here, and of course, we will have, you know, a number of persons, you know, to, to give remarks. Um, I mean, in terms of congratulating Fia, um, and of course, we will end the day with a number of, of performances by by different artists and bands. So it's really a, a very festive um, weekend ahead for us in Dominica because we really, really appreciate um, the effort and the accomplishment by Fia. And we are not just ending at that. We're going to the following week 
Then we have uh, a courtesy call by fear um, to the Honorable Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Dominica. And of course, we will end the, the, the festivities with a, a cocktail reception at the State House um, in the capital city of Roseau. So we are just really excited uh, uh, um, for fear. It is a proud, it is a very emotional, it is a historic time for us in Dominica because it's the first time we have ever um, gotten a gold medal. So we're all preparing and waiting and anxiously for the return of our, our superstar. Yeah. yeah, it sounds amazing. Given what you have just said, it seems as if it's going to be um, quite a lengthy celebration period. When will it actually end? <laughs> yeah, well, Fia is expected to, to be in Dominica for, for about two weeks, um, I believe. Um, she'll, be, she'll be there until um, September 4th. Um, so I can I can assure you that we we have in a number of activities leading up to September 4th, and one of the major activities we intend to have is you know giving fear the opportunity to visit a number of secondary schools, um, to interact with the young students uh, and to just hear from them and try to inspire them, you know, the next generation of athletes, and I believe that's a very important component of the entire festivities, giving her a chance. Um, to mold and to hear from and try to pass on the knowledge and experience that she has gained um, through her, her journey in athletics to the youngsters. Uh, and of course, we will try to ensure that she visits as much as possible the schools on the route and also in other areas of Dominica. And the, the, the final aspect of our celebrations will be giving her an opportunity to visit our natural scenic sites. You know, Dominica is known for having, you know, you know multiple uh, um, um, wonderful sites, you know, we are, we are, we are very um, we are well known in terms of ecotourism and of course feel we get the opportunity to go to some of the sites um, um, and take photos and of course try to promote Dominica as much as possible while she's on a visit to Dominica. Yeah, sounds fantastic. Of course, there have been lots of discussions, definitely here in Jamaica and I'm sure right across the Caribbean, just in terms of how Caribbean nations reward our athletes for performing well on the global stage and specifically at the Olympic Games and discussions around whether um, tangible um, rewards will be given to these athletes. Can you say if there will be anything along those lines for um, Thea? Yeah, well, the, the Honourable Prime Minister has articulated that, you know, we will build a, a track and, 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 and to be named in honour of fear. Um, so that is one area which we have confirmed so far. And of course, there will be a, not, a, a number of other initiatives, um, both financial and, and, and non-financial um, areas where she will be rewarded um, in the upcoming days. So it's something that we, we are very mindful of. I mean, getting to that point in a sporting career, it deserves you know, you know, you know, tremendous um, rewards. Um, so we are positioning ourselves um, to ensure that we can reward her um, as much as possible. Yeah, and Minister George, this one is a personal question for you because it must feel good to be um, in the Ministry of Sports, especially when a feat like this is accomplished. Are you motivated now to, of course, ensure that there are more um, being done to, to allow your country to reap more gold medals and, you know, represent on the largest stage? Because I know most times um, when we're not accustomed to getting this sort of recognition, sometimes you can feel a bit demotivated. But to be a part of the Ministry of Sports at this point in time must make you feel like you have a lot of work to get done now. Yeah, I think, you know, it presents a wonderful opportunity for us um, in the Ministry of Sports. Um, obviously, it proves that we have the talent um, to perform on the global stage. And of course, we are already looking towards um, the next four years um, for the next global event. Um, obviously, we will have a number of areas to cover. Um, we have already identified identify the young athletes that have the potential um, to medal at the next Olympics. And of course, we are working alongside the, the, the Dominic Olympic Committee, um, the Athletics Association, to ensure that we can nurture those athletes and prepare them um, for the next four years. Yeah. So I think this this just serves as motivation and impetus um, to prepare more and to prepare more of our athletes for greater things to come. Yeah, and one of the things I've learned in my profession is, you know, whenever an athlete does well or they resign from the sport, they no longer take part. Um, they their opinions and, and their suggestions are not really um, welcomed or as a matter of fact they are seen as a separate part of the organizations that make these decisions when it comes to the sport. 
are you and your government and of course your Ministry of Sport willing to just like listen to suggestions from Thea Lafont who would have you know gone through this she would know what are some areas that can be improved when it comes to this sport yeah definitely I, I believe we we're gonna try going forward to ensure that we can incorporate um, her opinions, uh, her decisions, or, or her recommendations in everything that we do, especially as it relates to athletics. Um, and that is something that is very important and timely because yeah. we are currently in the process of, of advancing a national sports policy. And I, I believe that it's, it's, it's the right time to ensure that we can incorporate all what she has to say in this policy. You know, we have a few um, prominent international athletes. You know, we are doing well in international cricket. Um, we have two two young batsmen currently on the West Indies team. Yeah. And of course, we are trying to ensure that these folks, these people can be part of the conversation as we seek to advance sports policy in Dominica. Yeah, so and yes, we will definitely reach out um, to fear. Yeah, and, and as you talk about the sports policy and so on, the Dominica Olympic Committee is still headed by Billy Doctrove, isn't it? The former international cricket umpire? That's correct. Yeah, so how much would the Dominica Olympic Committee be a part of these discussions and even this weekend with the, with the celebrations? Well, well actually, they, they, they tend to lead the discussions. Um, so what we, had done, what we have done in Dominica in terms of preparing for the celebrations, um, we have identified a number of key persons, you know, senior government officials, um, you know, members of the DOC, uh, members of the Athletics Association, uh, members in the private sector and, and, and different walks of life. They are comprised of the planning committee for our celebration. So we basically rely on these folks to tell us exactly how they believe we should plan for the arrival of fear. Yeah. And I think in that sense, Billy Doctor and the DOC has been a critical and, and really the centerpiece of all these discussions and planning going forward. And it's something we try to ensure that we do um, every time we plan for events. And just to say that, you know, the DOC and BID in particular has been very instrumental in the success of FIA. Um, you know, from a, from a, from a very young age, um, the DOC has been investing in, in, in FIA's training, in FIA's nurturing. And I think that, is a lot, that, that has a lot to do with the success that FIA has attained um, currently in, in the Olympics. So I really want to commend um, the DOC, the local DOC, and of course the Athletics Association for their leadership yeah. um, in FIA's entire success. Yeah, and another part of her success would have been her coach, Aaron Gadsden, who is her husband. Will he be there for the weekend, and how much will he be embraced as part of the celebrations? Yes, he'll definitely be there. You know, it's not often you find athlete having the coach being the husband or the spouse, but I think, you know, it's something that is something unique, but in Kia, in Fia's um, case, it works very well. You know, you can see the zeal and passion he brings to Kia. Um, while participating. So he will also be included in the celebrations. And of course, all the family members will be also included um, in the celebrations this weekend. Yeah. And just one more thing, because we're out of time, Minister, because she isn't based in Dominica, she lives in the USA. How much of a concentrated effort will the government and the Olympic Committee and the sport administrators make in ensuring that she visits Dominica as often as possible? Because the impact of her success would be a lot more pronounced or profound if the, the, the youngsters see her more often in, in live and living color. Is there anything calculated to, to make sure that she has regular visits to the country? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think one of the discussions we have in um, is the, 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 the potential of having an annual um, athletics forum. Um, we also have our annual athletics meet um, at different times. And I think if we give you the opportunity or the means of, of, of being involved in these forums and these meets, um, I think it will auto well for sports development in Dominica. So these are all discussions that we're seeking to have with FIA, how we can get her um, to spend more time in Dominica interacting with the young athletes um, going forward. Yeah, Minister George, all sounds really good. Wish you all the best uh, this weekend um, for Thea's homecoming. And we're sure that it will be a tremendous success. Sounds as if you have it all done and ready to go. So all the best with the execution over the next few days. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity.
Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. Thea Lafon's homecoming. Yeah, she will be landing in Dominic, as the minister pointed out, around about 2 o'clock tomorrow on Saturday. And she'll, she's expected to be in the country until the 4th of September. We take a break. A lot more to come on the Sports Mag Zone. Stay with us.